Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to seeing that how to use Plugin Manager. See Plugin Manager, how we can able to use into our Gmeter and what how it will work out for us. To go in this one, you have to go to Google. Okay, and we have to use. Plugin manager for Jmeter. Okay, you can able to see here, and you need to download here, and you can able to see this documentation. It will provide how where we need to save the entire plugin and how it will work out and all, and it will display here entire documentation. Okay. And you can able to see that entire information will provide here. And you can able to browse that plugin and you can able to see the plugins, what all the impacts it will display. And if you go into documentation one more time and the details of the plugin, how we can able to download and the graphical pre post and assertions and everything it will display here okay and you can able to documentation plugin documentation and how the jar downloading the plugin manager you can able to see here right java jar for file this is basically instead of installing the various plugin manually it will do for, do it for throw nice ui and no need to make the jar anymore and install the manager and once you install then you have to restart okay means see basically what will happen in case if you want to use any kind of plugin you have to install that plugin right and again you have to use it it's a lengthy process and this is the one we can able to click this jar and it will download the file okay once it is downloaded okay now this is the downloader right in this for once it is downloaded you have to do it a simple way like you have to add it into the Jmeter. once you add it if you want to uh, do it any kind of uh, I mean to say like anything uh, any plugin if you want to install just you can go for plugin manager then you can able to install it okay now this one in, is uh, downloaded right plugin then once I install and download it, just take that file and go to your Jmeter folder. Okay, once you enter into the Jmeter and leave folder and exe, exit file, you can able to copy paste into here. I copy paste it already. Jmeter plugin manager. Okay, once you copy paste it here, then you have to re restart this file once you restart the jmeter then there is a options there you can able to see plugin manager once you see this plugin manager you have to click and you can able to see here install plugins and available plugins and upgrade plugins and the plugin if you click anything available plugin if i'm going to do this one check mark you can able to see the value and here we are going to discussing the four informations right installing new plugin removing old plugin upgrading existing plugin information on the plugin we'll see first installing plugin okay once you click this installed plugin right click now you can able to see that there is information json lib and see which version it is presented and information on plugin here information on plugin which information like that plugin what exactly it is doing okay and if you want to remove just you can able to remove and uh, install the place you can go and uncheck and you can able to see uninstalled if you click this one installed okay if you want to upgrade anything like any new version you can able to upgrade into that version but it will give that complete information you can able to come to here in case there is any old plugin is presented but new plugin is introduced into a market and we can able to come to upgrade place we can able to search that plugin and we can able to check mark and it will install 
check mark then you have to click for apply change and restart into a gmeter if you are using any kind of thing if i'm going to auto stop listener or anything like we can see one more one small blaze meter plugin is there okay i am going to use blaze meter this one okay now it installed in this many things it is going to install it. once if i'm going to install this one and it will download this all the file and it will install and it, this information it will be presented here once i click for application apply change and restart jmeter it will download entire file and it will install into my system then once it is installed then it will restart my jmeter this is the way it will do it for that This is a quick view for these four options. This is a simple plugin. No need to bother about uh, it's like uh, any headache like that. It will not do that because it is a simple GUI plugin, JMeter. And once you add it, you can able to see anything like information uninstall. You can able to do easily, and you can able to, like we how we are using mobile right the same way. You have to check mark and you have to apply changes and restart it. Once you click this one and it will install into your system. That's all about this video for plugins, how we can able to use. And I hope you understand this video. And if you like this video, please like my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.